Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing really well and having an amazing day as always. So for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys and sharing with you all my Lush soaps and fun bars collection. So I thought I would put my fun bars and my soap bars all together in one collection video just because I've only got three um, fun bars and I wasn't really sure what collection to put them in if I was being if I'm being honest so I decided to just put them in this collection because like I said I've only got three so it won't take me too long to chat to you guys about them and share them with you all so yeah I think I've got about nine or ten soaps to talk to you guys about so I've got a fair few so I hope you guys enjoy the video grab yourselves a coffee or a snack as always and get comfy and let's get started so first up I'm going to start with fun bars and the first one is the green fun bar and this is the 100 gram size and this is actually an exclusive to all of the anchor stores in the UK so stores like the London Oxford Street one the Birmingham one the Liverpool one which I think is actually the biggest store I think the biggest Lush store in the UK I've never been I would love to go I'm sure you can get lots of exclusives there as well but this one I actually picked up in the Lush Oxford Street store for my birthday and this basically smells like fresh lemonade it's so citrusy and zingy and really refreshing on the skin as well and just gonna open it smell it it's so it's just it's like it's like a lime lemonade it's really really beautiful and yeah I really really like this one and I think like because they're only 100 grams they're only like the small bars I think this cost me about £4.50, £5 I think, so not too expensive and you can get so many uses out of fun bars as well. You can like wash your hair with them, you can wash your body with them, you can make bubbles with them, you can shave with them. I've done all four of those things and they all work really, really well. You can get so many uses out of them and ingredients wise for this one, we have got talc, cornstarch, glycerin, lime oil, lemon oil and gardenia extract. So yeah, very lemony, very limey, very citrusy, zesty, refreshing, you get the gist. But yeah, this is my first fun bar I own in my collection. Next up is another exclusive fun bar that I own and I got in the same Lush Oxford Street store to the green one and that is the red fun bar and I really, really love this one again, like with the green one, but this is a completely different smell. It's really like zesty, but like a bubbly kind of zesty, if you know what I mean, like bubbly shower gel, Bucks Fizz to me, it smells very, very similar to that. And I have opened it, I have used like a tiny little chunk of it, as you can see, and I used it to wash with, and oh my gosh, it just made my skin so soft, and it was really fun to wash with as well, and it was super moisturising, and yeah, this is really, really lovely and really, really good for summer, especially with the green one as well, I think those two would make really, really good summer ones to use, if you know what I mean. So ingredients-wise, we have got... Da, 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 da. talc cornstarch glycerin orange oil sicilian red mandarin oil so yeah very like zesty and orangey and i really really like that and again like i said a really really good one to use for the summer it was the same price as the green fun bar as well so i think it's only about four pound fifty to buy and you can get some really good uses out of the fun bars too so yeah that is my second fun bar and last but definitely not least we have my all-time absolute favorite fun bar from lush which i have repurchased and repurchased multiple times and that is the monsters and aliens fun and if you guys didn't know this is lord of misrule scented so i'm obviously going to be obsessed with it because you guys know lord of misrule is like one of my all-time favorite scents from lush oh i can't speak obviously so ingredients wise we have got cornstarch talc glycerin which is in all of the fun bars if you hadn't already guessed black pepper oil patchouli oil vanilla absolute and gardenia extract so yeah the lord of misrule scent is black pepper patchouli and vanilla I'm not going to go on too much about the scent, but I really, really enjoy the multicolour and like the bigger fun bars, obviously, because you get three colours in this and you can just like sort of chop it up, if you know what I mean. So one day you can like use the um like purpley pink one. They can use like the dark purple one and the green one. So yeah, really, really good to use for multiple uses. And I'm really glad they do this all round because you'd think it was like... I don't know, like a something they bring out for Halloween as like a Halloween exclusive. But no, you can get it all year round in every Lush store and I absolutely love it. So yeah, that is my third fun bar. So now I'm moving on to all of my soaps and the first one is the Outback Mate Soap. And this is the perfect soap for summer, in my opinion. It smells like eucalyptus and mint 
It almost smells like a men's aftershave. Like my other half, he really, really loves this. And as soon as he smelt this, he said he wanted to get himself a bar. And I think it's like, it looks like a cool product for summer as well, just because to me, it looks like the ocean, like the waves crashing into the ocean. I think it's a really, really cool design and it just smells so like refreshing and uplifting. And yeah, I really, really like this one. This is an all year round one as well. I think this was about five pounds to buy and I really really like the soaps because even though they can be a little bit like a little bit more expensive than like your standard I don't know standard like other lush product that you can get to wash yourself with I find they last the longest time like a bar of soap this size will probably last me a good two to three months if I use it regularly so I really really like them for that reason and yeah this is the Outback Mate one you can get it all year round and I think like I said it's about five pound I think I'm just going to do all of my all year round ones now I've started with Outback Mate because why not and the next one is the lotus flower soap and i really really love this one it smells so good it smells like a really like a yummy strawberry sweet if you know what i mean like or like straw like the hearty strawberry jelly i think it's quite to be fair the scent i think is very very similar to the strawberry i can't speak the strawberry heart shower jelly from valentine's day um from this year it's really really beautiful but the only downside to this soap is if you can see i haven't even used this one yet it completely melts through the packaging it's a very sticky soap but it's just because it's super moisturizing and obviously the oils are going to seep through the packaging when you get it but this is actually a soap that i have repurchased i think this is my second or third time repurchasing it i really really love this soap and i've still got a chunk of one i'm using in the shower currently so i haven't even opened this one yet but yeah to buy it, this is six pounds so a little bit more expensive compared to outback mate but i don't know i just i if i had to choose i think i prefer lotus flower if i'm being honest but yeah i love this soap only downside is that it's super super melty and yeah but it's really moisturizing and it's really good and i really love it next up we have a very very small leftover chunk of a soap which i absolutely love which is the rose argan soap and as you can see i've only got a tiny bit of this left i've like been cutting it up like i haven't wanted to use it but if you guys didn't know what rose jam smells like it smells like Turkish Delight, like a really sweet rose scent. It's really like decadent and really luxurious to use on your skin. Like I really love the Rose Jam Shower Gel as well and the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I like using all three together when I have them in my collection. I just feel like my skin gets a really good pamper when I use all three together, especially with the soap. I find it really, really moisturizing. I feel like I've said that with all of the soaps so far, but this one in particular is so moisturizing. Your skin feels so soft to touch once you've used it. And I am going to get this out of the packaging because, I, to, to be honest, I actually think I did a good job of wrapping this up, to be fair. As you can see, I've got like a tiny, teeny bit of a left. You can kind of see the Lush, the Lush logo there, the little L and the U. But yeah, I just don't want to use this because this soap is definitely more expensive compared to the other ones. I think this one to buy is about £9 for a 100 gram slice, which, yes, is very expensive. But I find with this one compared to the other soaps, it laves up more compared to the other soaps. So you only need to use a little bit and a little bit goes a long way. So you do sort of take your time with this one more compared to like other standard soaps, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I really like this one. It smells like rose jam. Can't really go wrong. And it's a really beautiful one that I'm glad to have in my collection as well. Next soap I have in my collection is a really, really popular one. And it's a complete classic at Lush. And that is the Sleepy Soap. And as you can see, I'm getting through this quite quickly. It's become quite thin now, but nevertheless i absolutely love this and i find even though obviously the sleepy soap is in the same scent family to all of the other sleepy products i find there is just something different to this even though you can tell it's sleepy scented it just smells more creamy and i absolutely love it obviously sleepy is lavender tonka ylang ylang and vanilla and it just smells really really good to be fair i think the tonka is the what what it gives like the vanilla scent to it so yeah it's just got some really beautiful ingredients in it I think price-wise, a 100 gram slice of this is about six pounds. So again, same sort of standard price for soaps nowadays, but again, you do get loads of uses out of it. And the Sleepy one in particular is just one of my favorites, obviously, because I love the Sleepy Scent family. And yeah, it just smells so good. Like I could just sit here smelling it all day. It's just absolutely incredible. 
But yeah, I can't go on too much about this one. I really, really love it. And yeah, I think it's about six pounds to buy and it is one of my favorites. So next up, we're moving on to all of my limited edition slash exclusive soaps. And the first one is the pumpkin spice soap. And as you can see, the color has drastically changed since I bought it last October. And I haven't had it in any sunlight at all. And I've kept it in like one of my drawers in my bedroom, like completely sealed up, like with no direct sunlight onto it. So I don't exactly know why it's gone like a really like brown color, but the scent still like smells exactly the same. It's super like sweet and creamy, spicy, like pumpkin spice sort of smell absolutely love it and i did actually buy a few slices of the, i can't speak a few slices of this one just because i knew i was going to absolutely love it and i just had a feeling it wouldn't be added to the boxing day sale like last year so i wanted to get myself another few slices and stop myself up but i really hope it comes back for this year because you guys need to get your hands on it if you love anything pumpkin spice scented then definitely pick this up if it comes back out again if you tried it last year and you love pumpkin spice and you'll know what i mean it's so incredible so lovely so moisturizing and yeah i really really like this one again with the lotus flower my only downside is that it's super like it's really sticky like it's a really sticky soap compared to some of the other ones they have on the website currently but nevertheless i do really love it and my hair is getting stuck to it but yeah i love it it's so good and lush bring this back out this year it is incredible. Next up, we have another Halloween exclusive soap, and that is the Ghost in the Dark soap. And I decided to not get this one out of the packaging because you can kind of see what it looks like. It's just a really cute little ghost. And this one smells like avo bath, so it's super zesty and refreshing and like zingy and citrusy. It smells like lemongrass and bergamot, and it's a really, really lovely combination of scents for a soap. And this one, again, is so moisturising, lavas up really nicely as well. And this is a pretty standard one to come out every year for like Halloween in October, September time. Like we pretty much get this every year and it's one of my favourites and I just think it's a really cute soap as well. But yeah, oh, I love it. So good. One of my favourites. Again, I really, really like this one too. Next up, we have probably one of the most beautiful soaps that Lush have ever, ever released in my opinion. And that is the new rose soap i think this was called valentine's day this year but as you can see it has got some beautiful absolutely beautiful shimmer and glitter on the front of that and it's just it's stunning it reminds me of the beauty and the beast a little bit of like the rose from the film it sort of gives me beauty and the beast vibes and i love disney i'm a massive disney fan so yeah that makes me really happy that i feel like i don't know it's got some sort of like connection to it i'm not i'm not completely sure but yeah it just smells incredible and I love that you've got like the fresh sort of rose petals sort of embedded as well in the actual soap. And to me, I don't know if this soap will be to everyone's liking, if I'm being honest. It's a very like fresh gardeny rose sort of scent. I know some people like aren't the biggest fan of like lush garden, like fresh, really fresh sort of scents. But I personally really, really love them. And yeah, I don't know why this kind of like the scent of it just reminds me of my nan because I feel like if I was to go to my nan's house, she would have like a soap with this scent like in her bathroom, like to wash your hands with. I don't know. So it kind of reminds me of my nan, which again is a really, really nice like little scent memory, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I really, really like it. And I like how it's got like the Lush logo at the end of it too. But yeah, you can't really get this one, unfortunately, because it was a Valentine's Day exclusive this year. But if it comes out next year, I would completely recommend getting it. This was about £7 to buy, but I totally think £7 is worth it because look at this beautiful design. None of the soaps of the All Year Round collection have this design. It's incredible and yeah, I love it. Again, another one of my favourites. The next soap I have is another limited edition soap and this is from the Mother's Day collection from this year and that is the Buzzy Mum soap. And first off, can we just take a moment look how cute this soap is it's the cutest little design and i love the color of it as well i just think it's a really nice color i don't know i just really really like it and scent wise i just i can't describe this it's almost like like a really floral orange sort of scent if you get me like it's really floral but it, it can't speak it also has a nice like orange undertone in it if you if you know what i mean i'm not completely sure but I really, really love this soap. I haven't actually used it yet because I just, I can't bring myself to use it as this little bee looks absolutely adorable. And I should have got another one from the Mother's Day collection because obviously it's limited edition. You can't get this one currently. But yeah, 
I do really, really like it. I'm glad I picked one up. I just, I can't bring myself to use it currently. But yeah, this one's really, really cute. Last but definitely not least, we have probably my favourite soap to come out of all of the collections that have been released so far this year. And that is the Flowering Carrot Soap. And I absolutely love the design of this one. And it just smells incredible. I can't, again, remember the ingredients because it was limited edition. So I can't look at the website for the ingredients. But it smells so fruity and sweet and Obviously, it's got that carrot undertone as well, but I really, really like that. I think, obviously, it goes really nicely with the actual product and all the other ingredients. But, yeah, it just smells so good. I could literally sit here and smell this all day. This is actually my third one. I bought three because I knew I was going to love it so much. Like, I didn't even smell it before I bought three of them. I knew I was going to love it, and I just bought three. But, yeah, this is actually my third one. I've used the other two, so I'm going to hold on to this one for a while. But, yeah. It's so moisturising as well and like a little bit goes a long way. You don't need to use a lot. You can just, you know, lather it on your arm or like put a little bit on a loofah and a little bit does go a long way, which I really like. And I also like that it's not like a slab of soap. I like that it's just the design like of the carrot. How many times did I just say like then? That is insane. But yeah, I really like this soap. It's really, really good. And I wish they brought something out like this full time, like in the all year range. But yeah. So good. One of my favourites. So that was it for this week's video, guys. I really, really hope you all enjoyed. And let me know what your favourite soap from Lush is, whether it be a limited edition, one from the current range. I would love to know. And I would love to chat to you guys in the comments as always. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy, because we are on the road to 650 subscribers, which if we could hit that in the next few weeks, I would be so super grateful. So if you enjoyed and you want to see more of my content and me then make sure to subscribe hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in wednesday's video thanks for watching guys bye